Jam with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing cute and easy, really, really easy Easter gifty ideas. These are so fun and easy to make and perfect to hand out to friends, family, neighbors, even to make for those kiddos in school or just to bless somebody's day with. I cannot wait to show you these ideas, so stay tuned. And if you are new here to my channel, welcome. I love sharing home decor, cooking, and DIY here on my channel. So if those are videos you enjoy watching, click that subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Okay, you guys, you know what time it is. Grab yourself a hot cup of coffee or tea, sit back, relax, and let's head into the kitchen to get started. First up is a cute little gift idea for the garden lover. So I picked up this container at Dollar Tree along with these bulbs. I love these bulbs. I actually picked up some for myself as well. So I'm going to add some tissue into the container and then add my packages of bulbs, add some paper shred as well. My original idea was just to add the bulbs to the container, but then I also had these faux stems that I also got at Dollar Tree. So I popped a few of them in the container as well, just to make it look even cuter. Look at how pretty this is. And all of this cost under $10, including the bag that I'm gonna package this in. So what an affordable gift idea for someone. I love stocking up on this basket wrap to have on hand for my little gifties. Now you can get two for a dollar at Dollar General where it is $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So I found these at Dollar General. So I picked up several of these so I have them on hand to use throughout the year. And a little tip or idea if you're using these bags as well, since this bag is larger than the container, when I put the container in the bag, I actually put it in the corner as you can see, and then I bring the rest of the bag up and around the container. So then the bottom has the little corner part and I kind of just tuck that under the bottom. Next, I gather the bag on top and I wrap it with some ribbon. Sometimes I will use a little rubber band. I'll use sometimes like a little pigtail rubber band, but I'm not for this one. I wrap it with this ribbon. This is actually Dollar Tree ribbon. It's really cute. And then I trim the top of the bag off. Next up, here's a cute idea. Using this cup from Dollar Tree, I'm going to simply add a little bit of paper shred in the cup and then some of these drink packets that I also got at Dollar Tree. Now I'm using the Nerd Strawberry flavor, but they have a whole bunch of flavors to choose from. This is easy peasy and such an affordable gift idea. Now I filled it with the nerds, which is great for kiddos, but if you wanna make this for a teenager or an adult, there are different flavors to choose from, like I said before. So you could even do like an iced tea or a lemonade flavor. Such a fun, easy and affordable gifty idea could add this cup into a larger basket with some other goodies or you could gift this alone just like this where I'm adding it into one of these clear bags you can find these at all of the stores this is a favor bag I add a little bit more paper shut and then I wrap it with a bow and here it is all ready to give this is such a cute easy and affordable gift idea Up, I found this cute galvanized bucket in the Easter section at Dollar Tree along with these carrot candies are also from Dollar Tree. I add some tissue paper to the bottom of the bucket and top it with some paper shut and then I'm going to add the little carrot candies on top. And I thought it would be cute to add a little bow on top of the handle so I have some buffalo check ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby, but you can find it at Dollar Tree too. And look at how cute this is. You can even put this in a favor bag as well. And another carrot patch idea, you could find these small terracotta pots also at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some tissue to the bottom of the terracotta pot, 
fill it with paper shred on top and then add a few of those care candies. Now, I also wanna add, I've tried these care candies and they are really, really good. So for $1.25 for a package of those care candies, they're definitely pretty yummy. I added the pot to a favor bag and now I'm gonna make a cute little stamp tag. So I have some cardstock that I just cut a strip of and then I am stamping with my clickable stamps. I'll include a link for them in the description below. I stamp carrot patch. So I have some of this ribbon. This ribbon is from Dollar Tree and then I'm going to attach my cute little tag. Look how darling this turned out. Such a cute, easy and affordable gifty idea. Let me know in the comments below which one you like more. Do you like it in the galvanized bucket or the terracotta pot? Next up, I'm using this chocolate from Dollar Tree along with the gold eggs and gold container. Also from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna add some tissue to the bottom of the container and then add my chocolate bunny. I first also add some paper shred, then I'm gonna place my chocolate bunny on top along with some of the gold eggs. This is such an easy and affordable gift idea to make for friends, family, or neighbors. And finally, I'm gonna wrap it with some ribbon. This is ribbon that I had on hand from Hobby Lobby and make a big bow on top and look at how cute this is for gifting. Next up, here's an affordable gift idea for a coffee lover. So I found this cute container at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna fill it with some tissue paper. Then I found this Harry and David coffee also at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna add that to my container along with some cute little treats that I found at Dollar General. These treats were only a dollar each and they look so yummy and I loved the packaging. I also found Junior's coffee at Dollar Tree too, believe it or not. I'm saving that one for myself. So here are those treats from Dollar General that were just a dollar. I'm adding them to the container along with the mug. You can always find mugs at Dollar Tree. And then I have some of these golden eggs that are also from Dollar Tree. So I add some paper shred into the coffee mug along with some of those gold eggs. Look how cute and festive this gift basket is and was so affordable as well. It cost about $10 for everything to make this basket. And now I'm gonna add the basket to one of these bags and then wrap it with some ribbon and trim the top off and this is ready for gifting. And here it is all done and packaged up so cute and ready to give. Next, I found this egg gumball machine at Dollar Tree and I grabbed these sweet tart jelly beans also from Dollar Tree and I tried some of these jelly beans, you guys, they're really good too. So I'm simply gonna fill the jelly beans in the gumball machine.
And look how cute, and I love how the jelly beans match the base of the gumball machine. Now it's time to test it out, and it really works so cute. So now I'm gonna add this into one of those favor bags, add some paper shred, of course, and wrap the top with some ribbon. And here it is all done and packaged up. Such a cute and affordable gift idea. Next up, this might be my favorite gifty idea that I'm sharing today. So I found this cross stitch bunny at Dollar General for just $1. It's got everything you need to complete this cross stitch bunny. What I'm gonna do is remove it from the packaging and put it in a mason jar. I'm using a quart sized mason jar, so I'm gonna put everything in the jar. I also add a little tissue paper and of course a few little chocolates to enjoy while you're cross stitching. This is such an adorable gift idea for any crafter on your Easter list. So now I'm adding some little mini chocolates on top and then I'm gonna add my yarn as well as needle that it also comes with too. And then close it up. I'm gonna add the lid on top and look at how adorable this is. I have this basket from Dollar Tree and I'm going to fill it with some tissue paper and add my mason jar in it. I'm also gonna add some paper shred into the basket as well and then add my basin jar. And look at how darling, such an affordable and thoughtful gift idea. Look at how cute, I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm also gonna place it in a bag and wrap it with some ribbon. And here it is all done and packaged up real cute and ready to gift. Such a cute and affordable Easter gift idea. Next up, I'm gonna make some bunny towel gifties. So I have these donut holes that I got at my local grocery store and I'm gonna add some of the donut holes into my favor bags. Then I'm gonna wrap the bag with some ribbon. This ribbon is from Dollar Tree and make a cute little stamp tag. I like to make my own tags with cardstock and then I can customize the size. So I just cut out a rectangle and then I trim the corner. So now I have my tag. I'm gonna add a hole punch and then stamp the word bunny tails on the tag and attach it to the packaging. And here it is all done easy peasy. You can make a bunch of these really quick as well and so cute to hand out for Easter. Next up, I'm gonna make some Easter bunny treat bags. So I have these giant lunch bags from Walmart. You could use standard regular size lunch bags as well. So I'm gonna draw the ear. I'm gonna start at the corner of the bag and draw a slight curve to the center, fold my bag in half and then cut out my ears. I'm gonna add some tissue to the bottom of the bag to fill it out. And then you can add some paper shred as well. And of course, some chocolates and Easter treats. 
Then I'm going to wrap the bag with ribbon. This ribbon is from Hobby Lobby and tie a bow. I'm going to cinch it in the center there, make my bow, and I'm also going to add a tag and fluff out my ears. I made this Hobby Easter tag with my clickable stamps. I'm going to attach that to the ribbon. And then I'm going to hot glue on a cute little bunny towel. I got these bunny towels at Dollar Tree, but you could use a pom-pom or a cotton ball. And here it is all done. Such a cute and easy Easter gift idea. Next up, I'm gonna make an Easter candy bouquet. I have this box that is from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna add some floral foam to the bottom of the box. And then I'm gonna use some skewers to tape to some candies and treats. All of these treats are from Dollar Tree, except for the chocolate bunny pop is from the local grocery store and the nerds rope is from Dollar General. So first I added this cookie from Dollar Tree. I thought that was a cute idea. And here is that chocolate bunny pop that I got at Topps. And then they had this little pack of cotton candy. I thought was so cute. So I'm gonna take the individual packages out, add my skewers to it and add that into the box. Once I have it filled with all of my treats, now it's time to add some festive touches. So I found these bunny legs. I thought they were darling from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna add them in along with some eggs. I'm gonna pop in a few of these larger egg picks from Dollar Tree as well, but the skewer was too small that it came on, so I just removed the egg and popped it on my larger skewer. Once I have the box all filled, I'm gonna add some paper shred to the bottom. And here it is, all done. Who wouldn't love this? It is so cute and such an affordable, gifty idea as well. Last up, I found this darling Easter basket at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna fill it up with some tissue paper. Once I have my basket filled up with the tissue paper, now I'm gonna add a candle. I am using a Goose Creek candle. It's called Jelly Bean Icing. I thought that was so cute for Easter. I just grabbed a bunch of their spring and Easter candles too that have a lot of cute and festive pictures, but you could use whatever candle you wanted. And then just for a little added touch, I have some of this ribbon. This is from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna add that to the basket as well. And here it is all done. Such a cute and easy way to gift a candle.
Okay, you guys, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and let me know in the comments below what you enjoyed the most. And for daily decor and DIY inspo, as well as behind the scenes, lots of behind the scenes and stories, make sure you follow me over on my Instagram page or even on my Facebook page, at Mother Time. Thank you so much for spending time with me here today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <music>